Welcome back to what's going to be corn harvest, guys. Right now, in the semi, driving, transporting some beans, we're on our last field of soybeans, and then we're going to start corn. And we got a lot of corn to knock out, and we'll have three combines. So what I'm thinking is we're going to get a mother bin. And this will allow us to dump all of our grain in here, and then, heck, we don't have to worry about trucking it. Especially since we'll have three combines going. There's no way semi trucks are going to be able to keep up with that. On the crew today, we have two semi trucks. These work good. We have Mr. Rental Man Buck, the professional grain cart operator, running the 9430T with the Kins Hello. grain cart. Oh yeah, that guy he pretty much unloads backwards most of the time. Then we have Jake running the Bush Combine. Then we have Nate running the standard 9770. And then I'll be running the Kloss Combine that's on demo right now that we're probably gonna end up purchasing. Also, if you guys haven't, check out these guys' channel. They're all linked down below. They all record a lot of farming and a lot of different other content. Just good channels. Okay, we're gonna get started harvesting some beans. Jake's just finishing up lubricating his combine and he should be ready to go. And I gotta make sure our bean setting is checked correctly in the back. Make sure we're not tossing all the beans out the back. We're looking good. And yield potential on these beans is 116%, 125% yield potential. Where the heck's Nate? I don't know where Nate is, he's late. Nate, you on the CB there? Nah, man. He ain't even on the CB. Buck, when we get on corn, you are gonna have to hurry like crazy. Well, for right now, since we don't have a third guy, I'll at least take the third one. I mean, it is gonna be pucker level 10 on corn trying to keep up with us. Holy cow, speaking of, of pucker level 10, here comes the cavalry! <laughs> you missed the turn. Okay. Man, that was Give the straightest the pass I've ever done. <laughs> Gosh, that's horrible. Nate, you turn around? He did. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Nate. Give us the program. Hey, big dummy. All right, boys, bushel check. I've got about 170 bushels in here. I think I had like 200. I said I got, a, I got 200 in mine right now. Okay, Buck, I'm empty. Go, 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 go. Okay, so while those guys are finishing up beans, we are going to take a truckload in and sell this so we can get enough money to buy a mother bin. Okay, Buck's gonna That's unload okay. us quick, top us off, and we'll get going. Okay, we are trucking. We're gonna go to the ethanol plant. Ethanol and bean processing plant over here. We'll take these beans. We should be able to get a good price. Now, these semi-trailers hold like four or 5,000 bushels of beans, which is like four or five times the amount that you do in real life. But it's pretty nice to fit that much grain on a semi. We'll go up on the scale and weigh ourselves real quick. Okay, we are gonna start dumping. For some reason, look back on the video, guys. I swear it just said bushels on my grain instead of liters. See how it says liters down there with the L? There we go. We got 20 over two over two hundred thousand dollars for the first hopper load, and that's because it holds so much grain. Second hopper load, we'll see how much we get. Okay, we got like a hundred thousand dollars from the second hopper load, so we should be good. We are gonna be purchasing a mother bin. And we need a big tractor to put it on. Now, they say not to run articulated tractors on it because it screws up, screws up steering. But this is the only big horse I got. We do have the Magnum, but it might be a little too light for that walkabout mother bin. So, we're going to put the 9530, the planter tractor, on there. But I'd like to take off the, the triples on it so we can kind of fit down the road a little better. Okay, so we got duels on the tractor. That works good. We got the triples off. Boys, you getting to the cornfield? Well, we're waiting on you. Can we get in yet? I'm going to go run down in town and grab the mother bin quick. But you guys can get head to the field. By the time Alrighty. you're full, I should have the mother bin back. I'm gonna get rolling on Is up that, that a 16 row corn here? Right? I have no idea. I picked it up off the ground. I think I think he picked up the wrong corn head. You picked up the yep. 16 row. <laughs> it's gonna go very well. Uh, we'll swap it if we have to, but it'll be all right. Okay, boys, we got the walkabout mother bin. Now this thing, you would think it's kind of light. You know, it's big, obviously, but it's empty. It's kind of light, but no, the 9530, she struggled a little bit pulling up the hill yet, but this thing, I gotta check how many bushels it holds. One of them holds 4,000, and then I think this one holds, let's see here. Oh, it holds 6,000. Yeah, it's got 6,000 there, and then this one has a 4,000. So, it must only hold 6,000 bushels then. Boys, how's she yielding? Uh, worse than last year. Seriously? Son of a gun. Oh gosh, yeah, that field's not in the best shape. Probably should have put on some ni more nitrogen. Oh gosh, we're all over the road. Don't crash the mother bin. Not in the ditch, Grant. We're good. Oh my, look at that. How many wheels you got on that thing? Uh, Enough to 20? carry my ex-wife to church. <laughs> gosh darn it, Bob. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I'm sorry, the setup was perfect. Okay, so we're gonna try and make this turn. This has like self-steering axles on it, but we're on an articulated tractor. It funks everything up a little bit, but we should be good. Oh, easy. Look at that steering. Oh yeah. Okay, the first unload into the mother bin. Here we go, Mr. Renomain Buck. It is a bit tough turn in there, Buck. It's gonna be a tough turn anywhere until we get that road to the right of us cleaned up. Do you need this row removed? I can, I can no. do it right now. I was gonna say, I, okay. could, I could do it too. We could both do it and have extra room. How about there that? There we go. And Buck's unloading. Can we fit the whole field in the mother bin? Oh, oh yeah. Wait. Buck, I'm at 65%. Nate's currently unloading right now. Only at 50 right now, Buck. Grant, I'm full. Combine. I'm gonna unload just enough because you only have a 300 bushel hopper on that thing, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting super full. There we go, Red Man Buck coming in to unload. We got Pickle going up ahead and we got Jake on our right side. Or not Jake, we got Nate on our right side, Nate the Great. Just go, turn left, just go left, I'll follow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey. Red Man Buck, hey. come on, keep I'm it I'm trying, I'm in maxing out the sixth gear. There, there we go. go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna trade places with Nate. He's been around the gloss. Nate, how you liking the gloss? I didn't want to leave it. We got the 16 row corn head. This thing is just eating corn, but it can only go six mile an hour. Compared to that, it can go seven, but we do have a 16 row corn head, so we should be good. And we got extra grain capacity in the gloss. Okay, it is now the next day, and we got a little bit of rain overnight, but we finished the field. So we're gonna be going on to the next field after this. I'm gonna pull around to the mother bin and Get this semi loaded up with grain. We may go sell a tad bit of grain because right now I'm negative $8,000 because of our lease payments on the land that we rent. So we may sell a little bit, but then the rest is just gonna go in uh, storage at our bin site. So this is the first time ever using the mother bin. Pull around to her and I gotta start the tractor and get the PTO running and we should start loading. Now this is pretty cool. But the fact is, these semi-trailers are modded to have like four or 5,000 bushels in here, which in real life, they only hold 1,000 bushels. So really, do we need the walkabout mother bin? Probably not. If this was real life, yes, we need this thing. And we are full. Look, we, hold, we held 4,800 bushel in this one semi-trailer. Oh my gosh. And we'll pull in the bay and start selling some of this grain. I'd say that's enough. Enough to give us $56,000 and then everything else is going to go in our grain bins and we're going to hold up for higher prices because uh, basis is pretty darn good once we get to next summer and we can make a lot of money by just storing it in our bins. Okay, for now I'm just going to back this semi into the neighbor's driveway across here. That way we can get all this equipment moved and it's not blocking the entrance to the field. So we'll just back this thing in. Get her parked here and go grab a combine and start opening up some enros. Son of a gun, we're off a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna get in the big cloths. I am loving this combine. Everything's been working good with it. I would love to buy a second one and maybe get rid of our deers. Even though the 9770 has been great to us, it would be nice to get two cloths combines and run two 16 row corn heads. Get the corn head unfolded and start opening her up. Okay, we had a little bit of planner mistake. I think we can blame this one on me. I think this was my fault, if I remember correctly. Didn't get the planner close enough to the edge. With a 16-row cornet, man, this thing opens up a field so quickly. Holy Toledo. So as far as yield, if you guys look here, we're in kind of the yellow. So that means we're in like the 90% range, 85% range, which isn't bad. We lost a little bit of yield because it got too high during pollination, or too hot during pollination. Otherwise, 90% yield, it's not too bad. We're averaging about like 220, 230 bushel corn. Versus usually we'd average like 250 bushel corn across this farm. What? Hey, you coming into work? You don't remember, do you? What? When we went to the bar last night, I, I told you, I'm getting the last cut of my yard in for the season so that way it can go to sleep nice and cut and looks good. I told you I'd be in after I got that done. But you were so drunk on Blue Moon from the tap that you wouldn't remember. And I told the bartender not to give you another round because you would not remember what I just told you. But no, there goes the next class right down the gullet. Well, hurry it up. Why are you talking to me? Get mowing the lawn. Okay, Buck's still cutting his grass, so we're going to take over cart. We got Jimmy helping out run one of the combines there. Oh, look at that cloth go. That is just awesome seeing the chopping corn head, chopping those corn stalks. Oh, yeah, and there's Rental Man Buck. Hey, Buck, you on the CB there? What? 
Hey, can you, uh, can you truck some grain out of that mother bin quick? It's starting to get full. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the other Kenworth just up the road quick, bring it in the field, and I'll, I'll take this one in. Okay, we got a full cart already, so we got a dump. We'll probably just keep dumping in the mother bin. Buck's gonna pull around right there, and this just works super efficient. Oh, uh, look at that shot, Buck. It's beautiful. Yeah, but it ain't dumping. Tractor's gotta be on. There you go. Mother bin's empty. I'm heading down to the ethanol plant, correct? No, head to the bin site. We don't need to sell any more grain. Okay, we're so? going to dump in the mother bin again. Nate is also dumping because I can't keep up with him. And he's just got to dump on the end rows pretty much because it's tough just keeping up with those two combines alone. So far, yield has been decent. We got into some good yielding spots over here, but really, this isn't yielding too good. But this farm over here will end up yielding really good, the home, home place. Okay, we're here, Nate. There we go. Just in time. Okay, we're going to do something a little different on this one. This grain cart's going to take a bit to unload, but there's an empty semi sitting there. So I got an idea. Oh, yes. Please, run it. You got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought this was going to work. Well, we got to run over some corn to empty them. I just need to get them to the end. That's it. Okay. This is the last pass for this farm. And then we only have one more f field slash farm that we got to do. And then we are done with corn harvest. Okay, the mother bin is done. We've got all the grain emptied out, so now we gotta go down the road with this thing. Okay, so we need to snake this mother bin around my driveway here. This is gonna be very interesting. Not bad. There we go. Oh, easy turn. Buck's opening up the field, so we'll eventually we'll put the mother bin right over here, which will help. I mean, the grain cart could technically just go dump at the bin site, but it's nice to have the mother bin for extra storage. Okay, you called? Yep. Just back her up. You're going to pull out this field cultivator. Can the Model A yeah, do it? We'll find out. Oh, gosh. That hitch is way too high. Oh. Okay, you're good. There we go. No girl can do it. Oh. Until <laughs> <No. laughs> you hit a pull. There you go. There we go. He's got there, we go there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We are going to unfold the sunflower and start some vertical tillage on this. This is going to be interesting because this was like pretty good corn residue. 230 bushel corn. We're going to see what this thing does. Okay, we got her set pretty aggressive. Usually VTs are definitely not this aggressive. I'm just going to hop outside, see what she's doing. Okay, yeah. Like literally we don't have any residue. Like this is maybe too much. Okay, guys. We are going to keep going on tillage, but... This is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out all these guys' channels linked down below. Thanks, guys.